when? <laughs> now. Okay. okay. Let's start. Okay. So um, Sunday. Well, it's called a final weekend. Saturday and Sunday. We obviously, as you can see by the jersey, Jer come jerseys, back here, the quarters, the quarters. We're more focused on the uh, Springboks Japan. Street. And Japan did brilliantly well yeah. up till now. I mean, uh, they ended top of the log. They they beat Ireland. They beat they Scotland. Won all their games. <coughs> they won all their games, and they are playing amazing rugby. And that's what everyone's been saying. And we're not arrogant. But, but what do we think? We're not arrogant, but we're going to annihilate them. <laughs> Now look, I don't want to take anything away from Japan, you know, well done. Yeah, well done Japan. You know, I was a little bit arrogant in the week too, speaking of like, yeah, oh, that's basically the Sun Wolves and they ended bottom of the log, blah, blah, blah. But actually they've lifted themselves and they've played some good rugby and they really deserve to be in the quarterfinals. They can beat us, they can. They can, I've done it before, but I really don't think they're going to. I don't think they will. Yeah. I think that like uh, on paper and particularly up front, we're just gonna we're just gonna dominate completely and it's gonna just it's gonna work it's gonna go away yeah fly off also is, i think he's like a weak link in the team yutamura he can't like his kicking his goal kicking isn't good enough that might be the difference in the game I just think if we play the right tactic and if we if we don't allow them to play their fast game but our defense is so good as well but if we don't allow them to play their fast game our forwards will just be too powerful yeah for them and they're gonna be super tired you have to remember that our our A team, a lot of the guys, the last time they played was against Italy. Do you think we'll be undercooked? And you can you might say that we're rusty, but I don't I don't think we will be. I think I think you're training you're training towards one goal and it's to win one game and the training sessions are so intense that I don't think I don't think those are it's a bit and the guys that haven't played in a long time, Pollard, and he played a little bit against um, what was our last game? Canada. But um, he'll be well rested. The, Canadian, the, the Japanese are getting massages. Our guys are just chilling, waiting for the game. Yeah. So I, I mean, I don't think it's honestly uh, the odds are in our favour. I don't, I don't see us losing this game at all. But I, I said by 23 points on Super Brew. I don't know. It's big. I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm more of a conservative <coughs> bloke. I'm going to say 15. Okay. Okay. What about upsets for the weekend? Oh, England, England, Australia, um, England, we think, but it, Australia can, if, if they can hold their own in the scrums, they can beat England. But I don't think they will. I think it can be fairly close. Um, Ireland, New Zealand? I, I, say, I think Ireland has a better chance of beating New Zealand than, than Australia on England. Yeah. Just because just because the last three Because of recent been, history. Yeah, the last three yeah. games it's two three uh, two one in, in Ireland's favor. Yes. I think Ireland's there no chance whatsoever. I think the All Blacks are gonna have to be smashed. So it's that attitude that makes me think Yeah. Maybe. And it's there and it's the All Blacks attitude. I'm one hundred percent I can't see the All Blacks losing that game. They're thinking of England. Zinzan yeah. Brook doesn't even doesn't even know that they're playing Ireland this weekend. He just yeah. thinks that they're gonna play England in the semi. Okay, if, uh, Wales, France? I think the odds are in Wales favour. Yeah. I think they're a better so rugby team, but uh, but then there's you never know what sort of France is going to pitch up. That's yeah. the that's the issue there. And and they, when they have like infighting enough, that's when they yeah. are dangerous. So that's a 50-50 game, and quite frankly, as a Springbok fan, I don't care who we play. It doesn't matter. I think our game is the only game where everyone everyone in the rugby fraternity mm. believes that the Springboks will win, and the other three. I think they're pretty sure about England, but but Wales, France, uh, Ireland, New Zealand, it's sort of not made I just up. Don't, I don't see this Ireland thing, guys. Sorry, yeah. I'm I'm one hundred percent. Not the way that they've played. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that they. I, just, no. I get the interesting, interesting thing, but yeah, I think no. they're completely overrated. New Zealand's going to win. Wales is going to win. England's going to win, and the Springboks is. Okay. Yeah, and I don't look. Australia are going to are going to scare England. Yeah. They're going to scare England, but England are too well structured and too well coached, and Aussies. I thought, I thought Australia could have beaten Wales anyway. So maybe they could beat England as well. They could have beaten Wales. Maybe. No, on the day. They probably got a, a lot more flair. It's just in the front. Very good back line. Yeah. But go Booker, that's the main thing, right? Yeah, okay. that's it, guys. Yeah. Oh, Booker. Let's not say anything about the practice. 